So usually when something good happens in our lives, we usually say the phrase, I can't believe this is happening. And when my two year anniversary was approaching, I did catch myself saying, I can't believe that I made it to two years, but then I really had to reflect on that. Like, no, you can believe that you made it to two years because God was on my side. I had good intentions. I had a good heart and I worked hard to get to this point. So I take pride in that. So I told myself that I needed to watch what I say because there's power in my words. So I started to say, I'm grateful that I made it to two years and that I can't wait to make it to my third. So a lot of you who've never taken my class or are new to my story, I'm self-taught. I created this business by myself and I take pride in all of the work that I've done so far and I'm extremely happy at how far I've come. So when I first started belly dancing with Mar, because I reflected on this too, I thought, it was for me. I started belly dancing with Mar for me because I wanted to start dreaming again. I wanted to start dancing again. I wanted to do something that I loved aside from what I do as well. I wear, I wear many hats, but, but this hat right here, it just, it's, it's special to me. So then I started realizing that it, it was deeper than belly dancing. It was deeper than just the class. So then it became about creating a space for women to feel safe, to feel good, to try new things that they've never tried before, and to just create a fun class that other people aren't offering. But then you know what, it got deeper than that. And it went into making an impact. It went into exposing belly dance to communities and to women that as th those who see the word belly dancing or read the word belly dancing, they say, oh, I can't take that class. So exposing the culture, exposing the movement, exposing the dance to women who felt they couldn't do because society made them feel that belly dancing only was allowed to be done by a certain body type or a certain skin color. So then starting to tap into that, and that that's kind of a backstory of why I created the piece Brown Skin Girl. And then it got deeper than that, you guys. Honestly, Belly Dancing with Mar, the more I think about it, it just got, it was deeper. My purpose and my mission and my intent and, and everything that I was doing was deeper than just a belly dancing class. And now, when I think about it, it's about stabilizing women's mental health. It's about building people's confidence and self-esteem. It's about teaching people how to love themselves and to pour into themselves and teaching the concept of setting boundaries and removing toxicity out of your life and really putting yourself first so you could pour into other people. It became about changing people's lives, but also saving people's lives, pulling people out of depression, pulling people out of a dark state, right? Changing people's mindset, um, helping people decrease their anxiety, helping people realize that they can get through it, that they can, they will, they must. I mean, if you know me, you know my motto was me versus me. So teaching people to not compare yourself to other people and to put yourself first and to only look at your journey and to only compare yourself to who you were yesterday. As you, I, I could go on and on. It's deeper than just belly dancing. So I take pride but more than anything, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that God believed in me and put me in this position and said, I think that she's fit for this. Because I love to dance, but more than that, I love to help change people's lives for the better. And I'm doing that through dance. So I'm here to tell you that belly dancing is not an intimidating word. I am creating a culture and I'm creating a new narrative for my community and for those around me to believe that they can be in this space because it's not just about you coming to my class and leaving. I want to create a space that when you walk into my class, you walk outside even better than the way you walked in. And that is my mission and that is my purpose. And I'm so excited for what's to come. I'm excited for everything that is coming my way and I'm receiving it and I'm just, I'm grateful more than anything. And you know, this year, I wanted to share my students' testimonies and I wanted my students to talk about their life and how they've been impacted. Cause I don't want you guys to think that I'm biased and just say great things about myself. And, and even when I'm saying all these things, I'm saying it in the most modest and most humble way. But I wanted you guys to hear from someone else 
So that way, maybe you will feel encouraged or inspired to take one of my classes or to just start your life again and to dream again and to be inspired to put yourself first. So I hope to see you at one of my classes soon. And once again, thank you for all of those who supported me thus far.